Hi guys, I'm Wolf Angel. Thanks for coming to check out my stream. I'm going to be continuing my journey and my adventure through Black Desert. So let's just see how today goes with everything. I do hope that everybody's having a good day so far. If you are watching this live on Twitch, go ahead and hit that follow button as well as that subscribe button. If you're watching this later on on YouTube, make sure to hit that like button and also hit that subscribe button. And make sure you have notifi notifications turned on so you know whenever GNN or Geek News Now produces any new content. Also check out Geek News Now on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, TikTok. I've already said Twitch and YouTube and of course our website at geeknewsnow.net. We've got a lot of articles, we've got videos coming out, where we've got games, we've got giveaways, we've got promo codes so that you can find information on our Facebook as well as if you're watching on YouTube, go check out the description down below and you'll be able to find all the um, promo codes and the link to Humble Bundle that we have. So. Just make sure to go check all that out after my stream <laughs> or open a new tab and be able to do that now, but just make sure to go check it out at some point. We are fueled by the fans. We should have something geeky for every geek out there, but in case if we don't, go ahead and message us on Facebook and let us know what we're missing. That way then we can get that fixed. And as always, we have Doc. Doc is here. He's always here. He is my supervisor. <laughs> Let me just read it. I was sitting one way, it's like, no, I, I need to sit another way. So. All right, so. That took a little while, all right. So last time I had to run away from what I was um, doing and then I sat here for a while so that my character could get her health back. Oh, and hi, Dark Angel. So now we're gonna go back and try to finish what we were doing last time before I needed to go get my health back. That was a bit of running to get to that safe zone that was there. But how are you doing today, Dark Angel? I hope everything's going okay. I know that it is the middle of the day right now, so I hold nothing against anybody if they just come in and say hi and that's it. Because I understand sometimes that's all you've got time for, is to just be able to come in and say hi. I need to kill them too because I don't have them completely unlocked. They're only at rank B right now. Find a clue that they need to the whereabouts. That's what I'm working Ah, 
got a bunch of junk. I like how that's the item I got, was a bunch of junk. I like how it just now tells me that I'm in a combat now. It's kind of funny to me. Let me try to come over here where it might be slightly safe. Nope, not safe. Tree spirits and find a clue. Okay. Thanks for getting away from these guys. For this game that I get a little frustrated with and that there's just so much of this is hack and slash. Just okay, so there's these creatures that are different. So I have to go kill them. And I know that they tried to put in a story, but it just doesn't seem as um, intriguing or capturing for me anyway um, than some other games that I've played. I mean, this game is still fun. I'm, I'm not trying to say that I don't have fun playing this, because if I didn't have fun playing it, then I wouldn't play it, to be honest. That's just how I am. I, I can try to play a game that I don't have fun like one maybe two times just in case if it's just like when it, like if it's just like a book where that if that first chapter or two might seem like it sucks but then you get to chapter three and then all of a sudden you're like oh my gosh I can't put this book down I'm I try to do that the same way when it comes to video games like I might start trying to play it. I might not find it all too fun to start off with, 
but um, I try to give it a chance because I know sometimes in getting it to where people fall in love with the game right at the beginning is can't be this game that I kind of, where I can enjoy this game, but it's not something I'm going to call one of my favorite games, which I know that might be like sacrilege to some people, but that's just how I feel on it. I had to give the, chan the game a chance to figure out what it was doing. That would be great. Oh, it's 
another boss fight. moving. Okay, let's try again. So now we have boss. running through you guys don't need to hit me you're gonna do it anyway it's like I'm not doing anything to you it's apparently me running through the path is upsetting sorry So that's the boss, but I don't even have half of my health right now. Let me just go ahead and take a few health potions. Bad gun. <laughs> yes, let's go ahead and get that inventory slot. Appreciate it.
I'm assuming I just pick something. I don't know what to even be trying to pick, so... Oh, I can get all of them? Skill experience, combat experience. Apparently there's a lot of these things that I needed to uh, be collecting. And I just didn't, so... Yeah, we're... So we'll have to come back and get all this. I don't wanna... See how full I just made my inventory. I made it full. Okay. Um. <laughs> I don't know what this does. Because of that, I do need to figure out all the stuff that I just put into here. Because that's not going to work too well when I'm trying to collect things. So... put things into storage. Um. This way we can go put things away and not have to worry about not being able to collect rewards from quests. I am so happy that Healer came on my stream and showed me that that was a thing. I am very happy with that, otherwise I would still be going, I can't do anything, my inventory is full. Oh, excuse me, sorry. I know like earlier I was talking about with books and games of how I try to give them a chance before I give up on them. There's literally a book. I am trying, trying to read it, but oh my gosh, it's, there's an invisible wall here. Why is there an invisible wall? Okay. 
guess I have to stay here and wait for everything to load because it won't let me go forward. But, oh man, there's a book that I've been trying to read. So sorry for that. Um, but I just, there's not, there's just not that connection where I, I have that, ooh, I want to read this. I got to find out what happens next. And I've been trying to read this book for a few weeks now, and I'm, I don't even think I'm halfway through it yet. I, I always feel bad when I get like that, but... <laughs> this is the bank of hope. Let's see. Alright, yeah, I do have stuff. Alright, storage. Although he can't hold too much more for me, unfortunately. So he can only hold one more thing. So with that... I can put this eye patch on. Woo! Now my pirate has an eye patch. Apparently, I have even more of those. Okay, I'm just gonna have to mess with all of that. But then also last night, I started watching a new anime. It was kind of bad, it's like right now, I I honestly could not tell you what the name of that anime is. Um, but... Get a little doggy. I have to name it. I don't know what I want to name it. Oh no. Um I'll just do that for right now. I have a pet! Pet talents and skills give special buff effects. Take out your pet to activate its talents and skills. It's a little Shiba! Little Shiba Inu! I used to have a Shiba Inu and his name was Shiloh, that's why I, I named him Shiloh.
Okay, that I can sell. That I can use right before the next fight. sell stuff to. Probably trade managers. Or marketplace. Hmm. Let's try a trade manager first and see what occurs. Whoa. Cease your prejudice against goblins. <laughs> I don't have anything for exchange. They'll take a bunch of junk from me though. So that's fine. So now I'll try goods. That's also the other downside to this game is that it, it takes so much for it to run and I can just tell sometimes when either my Xbox or my internet just cannot fully handle this. First time seeing a handsome troll. <laughs> I think it's gonna let me sell him stuff. Okay, so it'll let me sell him that. But he won't take the clothes. Could sell him a ham sandwich. <laughs> wow, okay. I was like, let's just try to get rid of things.
I think that's all that I can sell him. I don't know. Some people might go, why did you just do that? Well, I don't know what it's for. It said it was an event coin. I'm not really doing events. So... Alright. I think that does pretty good of opening up my inventory a bit more than what I had. Oh. It tells me to press and hold it in order for me to move it. Instead, it's like, here, we're gonna just make you use it. That is not what I wanted. <sighs> Let's see. Challenge? still a beginner on gathering because I don't really have any of the stuff needed for gathering stuff. My black spirit is happy, so yay. Alright, let us continue with our quests. Navigate to the glowing tree. Welcome to the capital, Calpheon. Back to running, 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 running. <laughs> and then I look away, and then I run into a fence. Okay, yeah, that makes sense. That really does make sense, actually. I also have quite a ways to go because I need. I have some diamond art that I had started a while back, but I've been pretty busy that I haven't been able to do anything with it. And so... Yeah, I kinda... Like, I'm kinda processing. I need to finish that. Because I have about a little over a month until I'm gonna be moving. So, if I finish it, then it just goes into, like it can get put into a frame and put into the box for decor, you know, that kind of thing, versus then I don't have to worry about potentially losing any of the little pieces. is talking. I'm going to destroy a 
lot more in this tough tree spirit. I'm still trying to figure out what that attack really does. Maybe I need you to go away so I can focus on this tough. in the dark. an interesting combo. Alright, beacon of light. Plus this magical line of arrows that I follow. Kinda like Fable when I follow the golden trail. It's like, okay, I guess I go this way. And then the game gets a little confused and upset with me when I don't go the way that it's telling me to. I'm sorry guys, I did not really get that much sleep last night. I'm apologizing to you guys right now for the amount of yawning I'm doing. I really am sorry. Alright, so there are people here. Okay, yeah, I've talked to those two. Baby boy. Mm -hmm. 
I was literally about to ask my dog if he wanted to come up here so he could say hi to everybody, but then he just immediately laid down before I could even ask. It's like he knew. He knew. Only after losing Osa did I realize it was my fault. My life belongs to the Lord. Humans will all disappear one day, right? Save Tolan trapped in the Grand Mines. Going back down into the cursed mines. Hopefully this guy is still alive. doing that glitchy bit all over again. She's dead. Never takes I'm going to find her. You're going to end up like me if you stay here long enough. He says he's gonna find her, but then he goes right back to working. Accepted a quest and then it was immediately completed. Okay. I 
annoying things. I think the inventory things from the Black Spirit that I have to accept it, back out of it, and then go back in. That super speed boost. Whoa. There's my game all over again, having a hard time loading. of my knowledge is growing as I found something new. And I just now realize that there's no chat that's open. If there was always that chat on the bottom left, or on the left side, but it's not there today. I just processed that. That only took me almost an hour to figure that out. Some horses. Talk with me. Hey, invisible walls all over the place. For me, I don't even look at goods that are not top quality. Quest objective complete. Okay. Must complete this quest to grow up to level 50. He is enabled at level 50. Fragment forfeit it and re accept the quest to receive another one. If you don't want to reach level 50, you have to give up this quest or don't complete it. Okay. 
Okay then. Clothes, clothes. Nice clothes waiting to be bought. Uh, gift of Calfian. Let's navigate to that one. He has a quest. water. That one was easy. Alright, how about choir supporters? Let's do that one. I have to go talk to. Sorry, noble lady. A lot of stairs. Okay, so now that I have a lot of things I'm trying to do, I'm still working on the choir. I'm just like, oh, hey, this person has a quest. Let me go ahead and accept that while I'm here. You've met Isabel. Mm -hmm. She's the woman who will be my wife. The family is trying to put me out. Children are starving? No way! I'll support the choir. The Even my father, who shoots down everything I do, wouldn't object to this idea. My job is managing the area around here. Okay. And I'm gonna talk to this guy. Well then, how are you planning to capture my attention? Uh, I got your attention enough because you started talking to me, so yeah. I wasn't really planning on anything else. <laughs>
Uh. Is it seriously going to try to take me to back to that guy? Yes, it is. I already talked to him. I need to talk to the other one. Majority will not disagree that beauty is the authority held by women. Who would come to a banquet where children sing? It will never be enough even if you decorate it with the most lavish jewels and silk. As long as I'm comfortable, why should I worry about others, especially regarding such base things as this? My husband this? is a great person, but I am a precious one. Wow. Yeah, one person to support the choir, and then the other person's just like, I'm, like, the, the mm -hmm. stereotypical noble of, I'm rich, why should I worry about the poor? Like that stereotypical noble rich person. Let me just go turn in for the choir, and then I can start up one of the other quests. I got a pocket full of sunshine, and that sunshine burns! support from the rich and affluent. Afraid the Vatians decided not to support us, but will never ever be discouraged. The urn's name alone will cause other rich and influential people to take action, you'll see. We should never discriminate. If we raise our voices towards the skies, perhaps we will be heard over the rich children of the Elonian choir. Okay, let's see. Let's see what fabric delivery wants me to do. And then I will go back to trying to help find supporters for that for the children's choir. Okay, so my quest is complete. I just come back over and talk to this guy. Nope, it's just gone. Okay. Statue of Redemption. So I don't know why that guy couldn't walk the 30 feet. What, but whatever. Examine the Statue of Redemption. Okay, I did. Nyanya went up to the 
statue and asked you to have a look up there. Okay. I mean, I did. Okay. Okay, I've like examined it from a lot of different perspectives. So now I'm supposed to find her, which I think is her. did look at it. What am I supposed to do? Examine closer. Okay. Exactly how much closer? Apparently that freaking close. Okay. Whatever. Just give me my stuffs. Alright. Let's go find choir supporters. Her cat loves hearing the music. Like, sure, they are children, but they're still peasants. I don't think it's right for them to come into the noble district. Rude. I see that there are at least some nobles who still publicly support. Shouldn't have given them any money. They don't feel grateful about what they have, we have done for them, and now they do not respect our authority. This is all because of Dominic Ern. Hey, okay. about you? I, think I need a drink. Of course we have to aid poor people. Okay? Mm -hmm. I mean, I talked to all those nobles. Now what do I do? It just brings me back to these people. Okay, that's... I was missing talking to the big guy. Doesn't know who he will support, but if he decides to support Urn, he'll send the money for the children's choir. Alright, so I helped support the children's choir.
Which, in real life, I would do that because music is a big part of my life. I've been in a choir for as long as I can remember. I always love singing. I love playing instruments, so... So you have been on quite an adventure. You recognize a workshop with artisans. The greatest weapons are the ones made from the very hands of this artisan, Dobart. Everything has been repaired. It's like hands up to make sure to hydrate. Dehydration is bad. Thanks, Nib. And thank you for the follow also. <laughs> no, Doc, don't fall over. Are you aware that a weapon's value differs according to whom it is drawn on? I have weapons that never shatter. I want to rent it? No. <laughs> yes. She knows how to say the name. <laughs> how many people know how to say it? Well, I'm glad I got it right. <laughs> um, I do tend to say people's names wrong all the time, and I do tend to have to just be like, Hi, I am sorry if I said it wrong. Weapons ring clear in combat. That feeling would call you. Summon of the Black Spirit. <laughs> Alright, so that quest is done. So how are you doing today, Nib? Enjoying going to streams and finding people that play console. I'm doing alright. Um, I mean, I'm trying to get this game to work with me. It doesn't seem to want to all the time. But, <laughs> I mean, I'm, I'm just playing it, trying to have some fun, completing quests, all that kind of good stuff. I actually, this is kind of the beginning of my day. Um, as you can see, this game doesn't like to load very well for me. So that's a little bit when it comes to this game that I'm like, I don't know how I feel. Uh, I think it's just the regular Xbox One. Um, it was actually given to me by someone because I wasn't able to afford one. And which I'm grateful for because I was able to keep playing on Xbox then. But um, because it is the older, older model. Um, <laughs> It can't handle as much as the newer ones I know. And right now it's like, yes, I have the money where I could buy a newer model, but I'm also moving in about a month. So I'm trying to keep any big expenditures like that until after I move. Yeah, the most frame-droppy town. 
Yeah, is it? I notice whenever I go into any town, that's when I start having more of the loady glitchy issues than if I'm out in the forest. And it's kind of just what happens with games like this. It's the same when I play Final Fantasy on my computer because the computer I have access to right now is older <laughs> and can't really handle all that much so that's why I don't get to play Final Fantasy too frequently because then I'd get frustrated. I really would because it's so glitchy. <laughs> But again, once I move, then I'm going to be able to go, okay, now I can get a new computer, I can get a new Xbox, I've got this. It's just, I don't want to be spending all that money before I move. And then having all the good, nice equipment and consoles and computers until, <laughs> until that. So, let's see. Oh, cool. Yeah, like it, I'm perfectly fine with that. I I don't really get to play this that much most time it's just for my stream that I get on to play. But um I'm not opposed to playing this outside of my stream. I I've had somebody say like, oh so you only want to play for stream. No, I'm okay playing it when it's not my stream. It's just this is one of those where I am doing it for a stream. So I kind of feel like I should do most of my gameplay on stream. It's just kind of how I feel. But I know, at least with this game, I know I can um, make another character and be playing as the other character and it would be fine. So... Like, it's just, this one is for when I'm on stream, and then I can make another character and play it whenever. Go away, leave me alone! But, let me see. So with my account, because the account that I'm streaming through is with GNN, um, but I just, for Niv, I just sent you a friend request through Twitch through my personal account, which is actually that, ac my name for Twitch with my personal account is the same name that you can find me on Xbox. Is I'm still fairly new to this game. There's still so much I need to learn. <laughs> Alright, well, I hope work goes well for you, Nib. I hope I would be getting better since now I'm level 3. Yeah, I have to wait until it respawns. It's kind of annoying for that. Of, like, I, I just want the thing in order to finish the quest. It's like, no, you have to 
destroy it, see if it drops it. If it drops it, then great. If it doesn't, then you gotta wait for it to respawn so you can destroy it again. And in the meantime, I'm just going around here. Because I can! There's a spider. Little spider. Bigger spider. And you guys. Item was obtained. Has the thing respawned yet? Did it respawn? Did it respawn? Oh, not yet. Still nothing, apparently. Dang. Okay, cool. Apparently need to go buy a pickaxe for somebody. Ancient fossil, so I can gather. Aww, but it gave me a negative. That skill points obtained. says that we have been added How are you rude The deer was right there and I go to swing for it and the game's like nope what did you think
I honestly don't know what I'm supposed to do to try to get it to actually drop that third piece. Like, increase the chance for it to drop it. I don't know. Kill more of those deer. I only have it up to rank B. Do not get to try to step on me, sir. A treasure chest that is going to tell me I still can't open. Hi, Eddie. How are you doing today? goofing around on here right now. Trying to complete quests, there's one that I'm not entirely sure how to finish, but I'm trying. I couldn't figure it out before, so I gave up, and now I'm trying to get back to it. stuff in here.
I need to do here? That's what I needed to do. Nope, I didn't change anything. Hi, Retro! Oh man, I liked watching um, Near Automata be played, and I hope I just said that correctly, and I'm sorry if I didn't. Destroying a specific ruins tree has got that rank D. Work out trying to get the deer up too. I don't need the spiders. <laughs> I said it fine. Uh, I'm glad I said it fine. <laughs> it's I've just I've had some people in the past where if I don't say it properly, and what's even more hilarious is finding out later that their properly was incorrect. But I just had it where some people got mad at me for not saying it properly, and that's where I'm like, I'm gonna try. If I fail, I'm sorry. <laughs> At least I'm trying. for a little bit longer trying to do this. But that if I still don't get it, then I'm gonna move on to something else. Like I did the last time I had this quest. And then maybe, maybe I'll look it up to find out what I have to do exactly. Because all it ever navigates me to is this thing that I just destroyed in order for me to destroy it. And it's supposed to drop the thing that I need, but... And like, I was actually talking with Retro earlier of how... Um, I have some people that will call me a grammar Nazi, but it's just, I, I grew up reading, I still love to read, and my mom is an English major, so yeah, I grew up around it. And so I've had some people that get upset with me if I try to correct them. And my whole thing with that is that I'm not trying to be like, I'm correcting you because you're wrong and I know more and I'm better. Like, I'm not trying to do that. It's just I know some people, if they're like me, they will get very embarrassed if they're saying something incorrectly. And I'm trying to be like, well, no, it's pronounced this way or you should say it this way instead. But I'm apparently not very good at telling people that in a nice manner, I guess. I, I don't know. But... 
We're archaeologists. I don't know what I'm supposed to do. People on the whole have issues being wrong. <laughs> Eddie, I just click buttons. <laughs> yeah. It's just that I always try, like if it's any of my friends, if they're saying something wrong, or if, like if I'm trying to correct them on something, I don't go. I don't approach them in a way of like, oh well you're wrong about it, I'm gonna show you that you're wrong. I'm gonna, like, I don't, I don't do that. I'm just, I even had one, one person that I was talking with that they were pronunciating a word incorrectly. And I was asking them, I was just trying to be nice about it, I was like, why do you pronounce it that way and not this way. This like, I was honestly curious because like it could have been something that they like that's how they grew up hearing it, you know, kind of the whole tomato tomato thing. Um, I was just I was honestly curious and also to kind of find out if because if they thought that was how you pronounce it and that's not how you pronounce that word. Um, then I kind of went big. Well, it's supposed to be pronounced like this, you know. And it was just me talking with them one on one, so it wasn't like in front of a classroom or anything like that. And okay, let's see. We're currently working on a fix to an issue. All right, I wonder if the issue is what I'm trying to do here. But like, that's just kind of how I I don't try to correct people out in public in an embarrassing way, I try to also approach it with kind of like what I was just saying. I know depending on where you grew up, some things are pronounced differently, even though they are the same thing. And, but they got really mad at me for that. <laughs> Kind of just snapped back with, well, you know what I mean. Why are you doing that? Like, why are you correcting me? I just, I mean, I would rather have somebody tell me, hey, you pronounced that wrong, and for me to learn, and for me to continuously pronounce something incorrectly, and then have people think that I'm stupid or something like that. I, I, but that's just me. I would rather just. Be able to learn things. How I <sighs> okay, wrong way. Mm -hmm. All right, so Retro has to get back to work. I will try to have fun. I will do my best. I mean, so far I haven't died, so... I mean, that's always a plus when you play a game and you don't die. But then sometimes dying is the fun part of the game. There are some games where it's just fun to die. I think um, that's how I view it with Dead by Daylight. They're like, yeah, I try to do the quests and the challenges, and I try to survive. I really do. But there are some of those times when it's just like, for, for instance, if I'm going against Ghostface, on Dead by Daylight, and I can, and they've downed me, and I can tell that they're about to use their ability to murder me. I just 
love the animation for Ghostface on that, where he just like stabs you and then he's on your back, picks your head up while you've got blood coming out of your mouth and everything. He's like, Selfie! And I just love it. I, it just makes me laugh every single time. Even though, of course, you only see that because you are the one dying. But I'm like, I don't care. I find that freaking hilarious. That's also with Dead by Daylight that is... For somebody that plays Survivor, they have to realize, they have to come to terms, and if they cannot come to terms with the fact that you are going to get down, you are going to be sacrificed, you are going to be killed, if somebody can't deal with that, then that is not a game for them to play. Because that's just how that works. That's, it's going to happen, there's not going, no matter how good you are, it will happen at some point. So... And I think, I don't know, I think with me growing up playing sports, I have the mentality, and it falls under into the games, into video games, board games. Although, I will say, when it comes to board game and card games, and also depending on who I'm playing with, I can be very competitive. Um, but I think I just learned whenever I was growing up playing softball that you do your best and have fun. Don't get so caught up on who wins and who loses. Just have fun. Because if you get so caught up on winning and losing, you're going to get so angry that you lose and to where it's just it's not fun, you're not wanting to do that anymore, then what's the point in continuing to do something? Like, what's the point of continuing to play a game? What's the point of... Just all of that, if you're going to just get so angry and upset about it. And I think that was just how I grew up with that, was I enjoyed playing softball. I had a lot of fun with it. Yeah, you can get, you can still get upset about losing, but don't get hung up on it. Just kind of learn from it of like okay so these were some of the mistakes that were made and we lost so let's try to make sure we don't make those same mistakes again and still have fun with it and I think I just have the same mentality when it comes to video games as I do with playing sports just I need to be able to have fun. If there is no way for me to have fun playing a game, playing a sport, whatever, then I'm not going to do that. I gotta wait for the game to load because it made the invisible wall again. There we go. The invisible wall is gone! Hip hip hooray! Nope, invisible wall is back. Gotta wait again! <laughs> Like, how far can we get before the invisible wall respawns? Let's find out. <laughs> like, stay tuned and to find out. Nope, still there. <laughs> Again, see, some people get so upset, so frustrated that the game's not loading properly. And then for me, I'm just like, eh, okay. Although I will admit, I did get really frustrated with Sea of Thieves when Retro and I were trying to do 
the Wild Rose Tall Tale for my stream. And I'm still very upset about it, actually. But it took us, like, three streams to get the whole thing completed in one go. And once we finally got it, it was like, yes, we're done. We don't have to do this again. And then YouTube won't upload the stream. So guess what I'm going to have to do at some point? <laughs> I'm going to have to go back to do that. And I I swear that tall tale on Sea of Thieves is cursed. <laughs> Alright, visible wall is gone. There's bound to be a person that's supposed to be here, I think. Maybe? Find out about the ringing bell sound heard by an adventurer. Um, so I mean I just randomly start talking to people? Apparently. Can hear the chapel bell tolling three times a day. Elyon blesses those who pray right after the third ring. Okay. So now I have to open the quest window. Now I gotta go back to the adventurer because he can't leave the cafe to go find out about the bell ringing. He has to find me, or I have to find him, and he has to ask me. Some of these quests, I just think are kind of ridiculous. Funny and ridiculous. Huh. Let's see if I find another invisible wall. Not yet, anyway. <laughs> I just want to know why there's this giant elephant and some horses just standing in the middle of the street and they don't go anywhere. They just stand there. Alright, you. Adventure is a romantic notion for all men, don't you think? Not really. Alright, he still has a thing. Supposedly. Maybe not. Okay. You may find normal gameplay difficult due to a lack of system resources. Continuing the game may result in unexpected issues. Please exit and restart the game to ensure optimal gameplay. Okay. I think that's literally what I just got sent as a message. Well, okay then. Unaccepted. Well, he wasn't giving me an option. Oh my gosh. Okay, well, we're gonna come in here and talk to this guy. Developing a new menu. The owner is making me develop a new menu because we haven't had many guests lately and he thinks the food is the problem. My soup is quite alright, but it's not like it's great. Take this soup next to me and find some ingredients to add in the kitchen. If you found a tasty soup, let me know. Oh, and don't get caught by the owner. I see I can get a beer, grain soup, fried fish, or meat stew. Alright, so I'm supposed to... Vintage wine. I poured some wine. Land soup. Scooped up some boiling soup. It tastes blander than it looks. Some aged wine. 
The wine smells marvelous. It seems to have been aged for a long time. Okay. I'm supposed to somehow make a promising suit, but I don't know with what. It's more difficult than it looks to make an amazing new menu regularly. saw that. Okay, so... What do I do? What do I do? What do I do? What do I do? We're gonna go back to trying to finish the bells. For what does the bell toll? Hear the story of Derek's friend Timmer. Mm. Navigate me to his friend, thank you. That's another thing I would have to say about this game that I'm kinda eh about is that it doesn't just automatically follow the fact that you're trying to do a quest line. You have to go in periodically just to Everyone's excuse. So you quit his job and participated in the protest. You've never heard of the Shia incident, have you? It's the incident in which a girl from the slum went to work for the rich as a maid and was beaten to death. The thought alone makes me shudder. Shia's grave is at the graveyard in the slum. Please head to the grave to read her. Okay. Let's see, I'm still trying to finish the bells. Oh, cool. Just gonna talk to you right up here. It's one year after. 
Quest objective complete. Then I have to come back over to this guy. Get my reward. So, desperate request for help. So many quests! That is, uh, that's, I guess that's one thing I can say that I'm happy about with this game, is that there are so many quests, so there's so much for you to do. See, it's still trying to keep me on that previous one that I already just completed. Sorry guys, I, I really can't wait until I have a better setup, but I'm kind of stuck with this right now. Don't care what your business is, anyone who passes the barricades will be arrested. That's what he says. Blasphemy! Before blaming Luolo, they should look at what they themselves did. Those boars did some things too blasphemous to speak of. They snapped and set fire to Ilion's sacrament. Are you going to sit and watch their blasphemous behavior? Go up there quickly and collect any flags that are intact. Okay. So. Now I gotta go in here and tell it to once again navigate me to where I need to go. Because it's still trying to just get me to talk to the guy. Found an undamaged flag among the broken and burned sacraments. I mean, they have health bars, so apparently I can attack them if I wanted to. But I don't think that would be a very good thing for my person to do. It's like, you only found this one flag? There's a reason why I told you to move quickly. Are we still talking about that mother and daughter? If that's really so heartrending, help them out yourself. You could catch some of the protesters and that poor mother and daughter could find a way to live. Go tell them clearly, there's no soldier free enough to help the poor. Wow. Alright, well... I got plenty of skill points to spend, so...
that one. But, alright, I leveled things up. And once more with having to come in here and tell it to navigate me to where I need to go. Because it won't tell me. Alright. I'm supposed to come here? Oh, uh, now I'm supposed to kill them. People don't like me. I don't really like that I'm supposed to be killing people. <laughs> Drops. Okay. Protesters are definitely not going to like me now that I've killed a few of them. Hi, Banker Dude. So I have enough to where I could rent these things, but I just don't know. I'm just not sure on some of this stuff. Cannot hold any more of my stuff. All right, let's see. Let's do everyone's excuse. Oh, 
Well then, she's got a quest for me too. Or he does, sorry. Like Robin Hood. <laughs> Alright, well I'm still doing this one because I got this one first. Born to a poor family, she moved into the home of a noble family to work as a maid. She was murdered here for breaking a vase. If you want to change this world so that she's no longer ashamed to look down upon us from heaven, if you remember that girl's sacrifice, rise up people and win this day. So she works at a shop that sells candles, but instead of going to her own work to get a candle, I have to go to her work and buy a candle and bring it back for her. Hmm. Invisible wall again. Alright, now we wait. I'll take some water while I wait. Apparently I didn't need to buy the candle, I just had to come to the shop and I take it? Well, that doesn't seem right. Whatever though. Trying to follow trail. I'm not doing too good. Robin Hood, let's go for it. water bottle from the central church. So now I'm stealing from a church. Okay then. Invisible wall once more. Nope, still there. There we go. Nope. 
Oh, game just died. Alright, sorry guys about that. Apparently the game crashed, so, um, I'm gonna see if it'll let me load back in. It seems like it might. It'll take a little bit of time, but if it won't, then I'm gonna probably have to end my stream a little early. But we'll see what it does. That was just... It's working, it's working, it's working, and then it's like, nope, I'm done. It's like, well, that's not what I needed you to do, but okay. So, we will see, it's, alright, well, I was going to say it seems to have gotten stuck, but it just jumped from 67 up to 87, and then went up to 88, so maybe this will work? Maybe? Fingers crossed, maybe? Oh. Actually, you know what? I know that I said I was going to see if it would work, but it is taking a lot longer to load in than it normally does. So I'm I'm just going to jump to the conclusion that it's not going to work very well. So I'm going to go ahead and call my stream. I know it's early, but um, the game kind of decided for me when to end. So I will actually be back tomorrow. I know it just jumped up to 100, but I'm not going to trust its big connectivity on this. But I will be back tomorrow. Um, I will be doing Dead by Daylight at 11 a.m. Central Time. And then tomorrow evening, make sure to check out Geek News Now on Facebook or YouTube. We will be live doing our very first Dungeons and Dragons session. So be sure to check that out. I will be playing my rogue. Her name is Ari. And I'm going to be trying to have some fun with as a new character with her. But again, go ahead, check out Geek News Now. Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, TikTok, Twitch, YouTube, and of course our website, geeknewsnow.net. So like I said, I'm going to call it a little early today. So I hope that you all enjoyed this. And I hope you all have a good rest of your day. So until next time, see ya.